Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back with another Thunderbirds review and another Thunderbird 2 review. As you might have seen, I previously did the a video on the other two iterations of this ship. And um, I finally got my hands on the latest version of the mighty Thunderbird 2 with Thunderbird 4 here as well. Um, this is in conjunction with the latest uh, TV show. You know, the latest kind of reincarnation, reboot, whatever you'd like to call it, of Thunderbirds. Um, this is a, a fantastic show. I haven't really seen the new show, but um, I, when I was growing up, um, I did watch with huge amounts of uh, anticipation and enjoyment the Jerry Anderson original Thunderbirds. Just, what a show. Uh, Marion Nation, explosions, entertainment, stories, just epic action. No holes barred. And, um, you know, here we have 2015. We have a new Thunderbird 2. So I um, decided to get one. And uh, this is the last one available in uh, my local Argos, which is uh, one type of shop that you can get these from over here in Ireland. Um, I'm sure you can get these guys online, maybe in Argos is across the land if you're in the UK and so on and so forth. But um, enough... Um, waffle let's say it at that and let's just have a quick look at it and at the end of this video i'm going to compare the other thunderbirds as we have them so um as you see we have thunderbird 2 and thunderbird 4 so this thunderbird 4 thunderbird 2 and then we have the cargo unit here uh as you can see we have the uh fab crew the thunderbirds um it looks like a pretty good show. Uh, I might do maybe watch one or two episodes and maybe kind of give you feedback on that. We'll see. Uh, here we have uh, Virgil and Gordon Tracy. Let's have a quick look at the back of this. So push to drop down uh, pod. Okay, push to release legs. Interesting. We have press for action and rescue sounds. Fold up wings. Interesting. Um, Thunderbird 2, pilot Virgil Tracy. Function, auxiliary equipment transport. Top speed, just a mere 5,000 miles an hour. <laughs> Max altitude, 100,000 feet. So we're practically uh, in uh, low Earth orbit. Uh, payload up to 100 tons. Equipment, uh, whatever support frame, onboard pod assembly factory, electromagnetic cable launcher. Also available, we have Interactor Tracy Island, which looks amazing. Thunderbird were an AN3, also with sounds. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, load and launch from Thunderbird 2 pods is Thunderbird 4. Both vehicles compatible with Tracy Island. Right, and as you can see, ITV Studios. Thunderbird 4, pilot Gordon Tracy, function underwater search and rescue, and underwater speed, just a mere 160 knots. Equipment, active 4D sonar array, adaptive utility arms, demolition torpedoes, quick launch escape tubes so two exciting vehicles we have here so let's have a look take her outside the box and enjoy her in all her glory i know some people probably leave them in the boxes but it's not much display uh options here you really kind of have to get them out uh, here we have the little two, sound uh actions there uh, you might not have heard that very clearly but i'll see if i can improve that audio in a few moments Okay, so I'm going to open up this ship, and uh, I'm not going to bore you with the uh, shenanigans of opening it, and I'm just going to cut straight to having an up-close-and-personal look at Thunderbird 2. Okay, so here we have the unpackaged Thunderbird 2. And first glance, it looks pretty decent, actually. Um, nice colouring, uh, nice mould on this ship, and a decent size as well. So we have our utility pod here. Uh, we have casters on it with just some uh, manufacturing details made in China, blah, 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 blah. Um, decent decals. Nice kind of white pinstriping there with just some molded details just on the top and sides and just front and back as well. Little front ramp. Not much detail on the inside, but just the base of that is quite good for Thunderbird 4 to sit into. And that will sit quite nicely in situ with Thunderbird 2. Now that sits in there, a bit of a hang on it. Wish it kind of stood up in place a little bit better than that. 
We have the collapsible uh, wings on Thunderbird 4 as well, which is an interesting uh, point. So I suppose easy storage on that. But let's just fold those out for the time being. Um, okay, so let's get up super close here. So the antennae uh, we have, they're not uh, symmetrical, they're asymmetrical on the front. Uh, good detail on the cockpit there. Uh, some nice and vibrant colors on the windows. Uh, we have the action sound button, uh, leg release. So let's have a look at these. So we should pop them down. Okay. Ooh, they're pretty big legs. Yeah, pretty okay. Um, let's just go down the body of it here. Some yellow pinstriping. Um, you can see a little bit shallow the way it sits in there. That should be kind of up around there. Maybe we could kind of tweak that. Um, again, some mold details here. Um, it's kind of a little bit more matte in comparison to the original one. Uh, International Rescue Decal Warning Jet Blast. And we have some other kind of decals just going down the length of the ship itself. Anything on the underneath of the wings? Nope. Engines? Eh, nothing, nothing that I can see. They're just kind of capped off in there. Uh, just some molding going down the aft of the ship there as well. Those decals are replicated on this side too. And then we have some radiator grills just on the ram scoops. I would assume they are ram scoops there as well. Overall, she's quite nice looking. Let me just put these legs up here. Uh, the legs look kind of okay. I'd say. Bit of detailing along here. Be nice if there was like a guard over these or something that like a flap that popped down and then the legs came down or something along that kind of fashion. Um, as regards to ooh. yeah, don't know why that that just comes down by itself. Does that go up any further? That just comes out anyway. But if you push it down, well, it doesn't really come down any further if you push it. And that does, yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> there's not much play with that, is, is there? <laughs> okay, so when she's on the base, uh, she can run on the casters here fairly easily. Um, there's not much else to say about it, but let's just have a quick look at the legs here. How does she stand? Oh, let me get all the legs down. Firstly, all the legs are down. Okay. She sits fairly even on that. No issues there, no issues. Um, yeah, it's pretty okay. Uh, I'm not sure what these are retail in your own kind of markets, but uh, it's not too bad um, of a price and everything seems to function fairly okay with it. Uh, let's have a look at Thunderbird 4, shall we? So let's drop the pod. The Thunderbird 2 to the side for a second. Where's our front hatch? Ah, we had it right around. Okay, Thunderbird 4, um, nice vibrant yellow. So this is more of a kind of like a plastic, it's, there's definitely give on this one, it's not hard plastic. And um, Thunderbird 4 decals are pretty good on it. And um, paint is pretty okay for the size of it. Mold is nice. I remember, I think I saw a part of like the first episode where this is all glass here as well, which is interesting, which I kind of like, you know, if you're flying over, you're looking right down and there's like escape pods on this side here but uh yeah it's pretty cool it's a pretty good looking thunderbird 4 again we have some itv studios limited blah 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 on that made in china but um i like the kind of new style look of these ships i must admit but my heart does lie with the original ones um so that is a nice little set to be honest with you i do like it uh, we have our drop pod, we have our Thunderbird 4, and we have our Thunderbird 2. Now let's compare them with the other ships, shall we? So, ladies and gentlemen, here we have three generations of Thunderbird 2. Original. This is Thunderbird 2, mission complete. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but uh, yeah, I was just testing the audio on it, which I'll do for you in a few moments. But as I was saying, this is the original Thunderbird 2, this is the movie Thunderbird 2, and this is the newest uh, TV show iteration of Thunderbird 2, which I have the wing collapsed up at the moment. What's your favourite? Um, this one's still my favourite. This is 
very close second, and this is my least favorite. Um, you can see the kind of very neon, uh, overly futuristic styling. This is more faithful to the original, but again, more, uh, how should I say, engineered to be realistic. Um, and I put in air quotations there as well. And then we have the original one, which I still think is beautiful. Now, as I said, uh, we're gonna test some of the audio on this. So I'm gonna bring the mic a little bit closer and uh, hopefully this will do some justice. So I'm gonna shut up and, uh, and I'm actually gonna test this one first and then compare it to this one. This one doesn't have any audio in it. Let's get down there. Thunderbirds are go. Thunderbird 2, understand your danger zone. FAB. Thunderbird 2 to base. FAB, Scott. Let's get down there. So hopefully the audio is pretty good on that, that you could hear both this is samples. Two, mission complete. I'm on my way home. Shut up, Virgil. And so yeah, you can see the difference um, in the audio, um, difference in the fact that this is all just uh, dialogue where we have some action machinery sounds on it. I think there's pretty good audio on it and pretty good sample. I like the action button on this one as it's not as visible as over here. Same with uh, how the legs uh, come down on this one. Uh, here's the action button on this model here. But, you know, I think they're pretty good. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments section below, firstly, which is your favorite Thunderbird? And secondly, which is your favorite Thunderbird too? And uh, yeah, I would look forward to hearing that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, why not give me a like? And if you're new to the channel, uh, do uh, hit me up with a subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest shenanigans. And I will leave a link in the description box below of my last Thunderbird uh, ship reviews of these two. Sorry for the shaky camera there. And uh, otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next video. And say hello on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Enough of the shameless self-promoting there. Um, but I've been Irish Trekkie. See you in the next one. Take it easy and goodbye. Mm -hmm.